The Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine on pause in all 50 states after six women experienced rare blood clots after getting their shots. Our Shannon Lilly looked into some common and uncommon side effects people are feeling, including one that has some women uneasy. I got my second one yesterday morning. Um, felt a little lethargic, a little bit of a headache this morning. It's something we hear often. The only concerns I had were, I guess, the side effects after the second shot. Like Tommy Denuso, you yourself might have experienced some of them. The CDC listing tiredness, headaches, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea as common side effects of the COVID vaccine. But what about less common side effects? There are probably going to be a lot of things that come up that we have to investigate. In December, the CDC detected a rate of 11 cases per million doses of a rare life-threatening allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. And on Tuesday, administration of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was paused nationwide due to blood clotting in six women following their shot. Now, women have taken to Twitter. In a thread started by a University of Illinois associate professor, Dr. Kate Clancy says she noticed changes to her menstrual cycle after her first dose of Moderna, and hundreds of women document a similar experience. That's just not how these vaccines work. So I'd be very surprised. Dr. Melissa Vare with the Richmond and Henrico Health Districts doesn't believe there's a physiologic involvement between the vaccine and your menstrual cycle, but does say the vaccine could be a stressor on your body since it's teaching your immune system to fight the COVID virus. There's a really complex feedback mechanism between your brain and the ovary. It's called the HPO axis. And any major stressor, is enough to throw off that axis. Dr. Rachel Love is a physician with Bon Secours OBGYN at St. Mary's. She says she sees even good stressors like a new job or move throw off hormones and cause menstrual irregularities. But she says the vaccine itself isn't causing the changes. It doesn't affect their future fertility or their reproductive health. Um, I know that's a big concern. Um, but rather that it's an immune response, which is good and natural. And there's multiple ways for you to report any side effects you may experience to the CDC. One is through this smartphone based tool called VSafe. You tell the CDC how you're feeling and depending on your answer, they may just give you a call. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Shannon Lilly, CBS 6 News.